We've got a simplified sharing experience, a couple of PowerFX updates, and more Copilot capabilities in the inline action bar in this month's Power Apps Pulse. Welcome to the Power Apps Pulse, where we share those quality of life enhancements to your Power Apps Maker experience. Sharing your Canvas apps just got a little bit easier. We have a brand new office style one click sharing experience. Now, when we click on the share button for an app, we have this new office style pop up. We can type in the name of who we want to share the app with, and this can be multiple people. We can choose whether we want them to be a user or co-owner, put in a message, and get the full details about what access people will need, including any additional access to relevant data sources. And we can click the share button or copy a link to the play app or edit app and send that along to the user. And the same experience will eventually apply for sharing your model driven apps as well. We have a couple of new power effects capabilities to highlight as well. The is empty function can now be used with untyped values like those returned from the parse JSON function. So within the text property of this label, I'm using the is empty function and putting in the parse JSON with some valid JSON there. And it's evaluating to false because it's not empty. If I were to change this and make it empty, it would evaluate to true. And since we're talking about the parse JSON function, another PowerFX update is you can now declare a custom user defined type and use the parse JSON overload to parse JSON to a strongly typed value. So I could go into my app in the formulas property and declare a user defined type for customer. And I can use that user defined type in this label. I'll use the first function, then use a parse JSON, pass in my JSON and reference my user defined type. And finally, the copilot button in the inline actions bar has been updated to be even more powerful. It can now provide handy suggestions for screens, containers and buttons, classic and modern buttons. If I select this container, I can hover over it and click the Copilot button in the inline actions bar. We can enter in a prompt here of what we want to add or use one of these helpful suggestions like maybe adding a gallery connected to a specific table. I just select it and now that's added onto the canvas. This Copilot capability will continue to improve, so keep watching the Power Apps Pulse for more updates. And that's all that we have for this month, but make sure to check out the Power Apps blog to see all of the latest Power Apps updates.